What's up everybody, I'm Matt Brody and this is Simply Must Go and today, well today we are bougie camping. I gotta show you this place, it's amazing. So this weekend, my wife and I are celebrating our nine year anniversary and we decided to rent an Airbnb, but not just any Airbnb, a tree house in the woods near Lake Jocassi. Unfortunately, we picked a weekend where the weather is not so great. So it's been kind of rainy, but that's just great because we just get to hang out inside and, and chill and it's look at all the nice fall leaves. This place is great. Luckily, I brought all of my camping grill stuff. So we've set up on this little porch and uh, we're gonna make some breakfast. So we're gonna have some bacon and some eggs and do some fun stuff. But this has been awesome. And I'm really glad I brought all my camping gear. What's up, Captain? You having fun? You want to, no, you can't have the cheese. It's honestly not my best showing of breakfast sandwich, but it's gonna do. I know, I know you think it's a stick. It's not really a stick. So there's not really amenities inside the treehouse. There's a little um, micro fridge and that's and, and a coffee pot and that's pretty much it. Everything else, you're kind of on your own. There is an outdoor grill, but given the rain and everything and not really knowing what the status of that grill was gonna be sometimes, you know, you just don't really know. So we brought our own camping grill and stuff. What they do have though is an outhouse. <laughs> so to go to the restroom, uh, you come to this building, which is kind of far away from the house, but uh, it's not too bad, but that's the restroom. And so there's bathroom, there's showers. Uh, they also have stuff to like laundry stuff and a sink. So we can do a couple of dishes and stuff in here too. So we've decided to take a little walk. There's a path behind the tree house that should lead all the way down to Lake Jocassi. Uh, so we're gonna do a little hike. Don't really know how far it is or what to expect, but it has stopped raining and it's not too hot. It's a little chilly. It's like the perfect hiking temperature. So we're gonna go on a little hike with Captain down to the lake, see what that's like. <laughs> Captain is having the time of his life. He's so cute. He's like exploring everything. So the trail that's leading down to the lake here looks like it could be a Jeep trail. <laughs> like it would be a lot of fun, but there's no, uh, it says no vehicles allowed. So I guess the owners can do that, <laughs> but guests can't. Man, I wish I could take the Jeep back here. Well, I think we've got about as close to the lake as we're gonna get to. Pretty steep to get down there with the leaves being real wet. And once you get down there too, you're kind of blocked by all the, uh, the other trees and stuff. So we're gonna call trying to get to the lake from here and go back up to the tree house. But this was a fun little hike and Captain's having a blast. He's, he's living his best life right now. So the weather has cleared up a little bit and the tree house that we're staying in is right next to Devil's Fork State Park. So we're gonna take a little drive in there, try to get down to Lake Jocassi and see the water and uh, just kind of drive around and look at the fall leaves. We've been up in this area before but never in the fall time. So we love getting to see the fall leaves and we almost always miss it. So we're gonna take this opportunity to go drive around a little bit and look at the fall leaves.
So the leaves are absolutely beautiful. And so what we've decided is we're gonna head out of Devil's Fork State Park and go up towards Horse Pasture Road, which is actually kind of a part of the scar. And I've got a whole video uh, where Jessica and I did that trail. But what we're gonna do is go up to Jumping Off Rock, which is sort of at the very top uh, overlooking Lake Jocassi. And from there, we should be able to see the entire surrounding area with all of the beautiful fall leaves. And it should make some amazing drone shots too. All right, so this is actually pretty cool because we get to kind of do some of the back roads and some of the closed roads uh, of Lake Jocassi. So during the year, there are certain like back ways in and certain parts of Horse Pasture Road that are closed. And it just so happens that we are in that season when they are open. And most of the times when we've been here, they've been closed. So we're gonna get to do some extra parts of Horse Pasture Road that we don't normally get to do and uh, see some other parts that I'm excited to show Jessica because I've done it, but she hasn't. Daisies blooming Sundress swaying in the breeze I can't stop staring You've put a spell on me And I hope that you never decide to set me free The way you're moving It's got me moving my own feet The greatest feeling That I could ever dare to dream Is you Forever moving next to me Let's not waste time or take this slow We've got miles behind us but miles to go So let's just break this down To the simplest truth You and I as one will always be better than You and I as one will always be better than two. We made it to Jumping Off Rock. Now we got a short little, uh, I wouldn't even call it a hike, it's more of just a walk uphill to this absolutely gorgeous view. So as beautiful as this view is, we've actually got only about an hour before sunset now that the time has changed. And uh, so we got to get back through all this back to our tree house so we can start making steaks for dinner while we still have at least a little bit of light. All right, so clearly we didn't make it back before it got dark out to cook dinner, but that's fine. So like I said before, we brought a lot of our overlanding camp grill stuff. So I've got my, uh, my griddle top 
here that we're about to cook some steaks on, but I've got some pans. We're heating up some some beans and some mac and cheese. But what's making this really possible is my Devos, I guess that's how you say it, light that I got from Overland Expo East. And the reason I got it is because a bunch of my buddies were like, it's the greatest camp light ever. And I was like, I got, I totally got peer pressured into buying it. Uh, but it's like the one thing I bought at Overland Expo. And this is really the first time I've gotten to use it. And it's awesome. Like being up here, shining light, like I've got all the light in the world I need to cook now. Uh, Cause over, like underneath this porch is just not any light. And so this is giving me the ability to cook even though it's dark. And you can see there's a lot of light here. Like I've got, I got all the light in the world that I need to cook. So uh, super happy with that light. Now I just gotta finish making steaks. They look really, really good. I can't wait to eat. Close my eyes, you're looking back at me Out of all the mother's beauty that I've seen There is none more beautiful than you Well, good morning. We woke up nice and early, cooked myself another breakfast sandwich, did much better with this one. This, I think, is going to be absolutely amazing. But we've got to get out. Checkout time here is like 10 in the morning. Uh, so we got to get kind of packed up and, and get out of here. Uh, so, but anyway, this was such a cool place. And I just had to share it with you guys. I know it's completely different. Didn't do as much wheeling and camping camping as we normally do. But this was definitely a fun adventure. And, uh, and it's a simply must go thumbs up for sure. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've been here, ever done anything like this, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. And uh, I guess we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.